What is up everyone? Today I am bringing you another update to our MSI PAX build. This PC was originally built from scratch out of a fire pit that we had laying around so we've cut out all the windows and everything and added the uh, Perspex windows. Now we are going to be filling it. So just placing the paper towel in just in case anything leaks hopefully that can catch it all and there won't be anything destroyed. We are filling this with some distilled water and some Mayhem's Aurora Yellow. So hopefully we get that nice Aurora effect. And this build's actually going on show in the uh, PAX booth uh, for MSI at uh, yeah PAX Australia. So we really want it to look nice. So I thought the Aurora was a good choice for this. So I placed the fill port there. Normally I place a fill port up high above the reservoir, but with the space we had, because of this reservoir being so small due to it being a custom reservoir to fit within the Dragon, we had to think elsewhere. Now, I do highly recommend placing fill ports above the reservoir. It makes it easier to bleed out everything. You normally leak test, but leave the port open overnight. Um, I could have put like a, a T-join or something up the top there um, above the reservoir but we've gone for this look instead. It looks cleaner and the T-join may or may not have gotten in the way of the dragon's head there but just in case we've gone with uh, this method which seems to be working fine. So we're just slowly um, filling it and filling up that reservoir and what we're doing is we're just power cycling it to get the liquid flowing through and just get it filled up. We don't want to leave it running so that the pump is running dry so I'm just waiting until I the liquid's gone out of the reservoir and we can hear that the pump's starting to try and take in air instead of liquid. So we've just got the 4th and the 7th cable um, bridged between the 24 pin just to run everything without running the motherboard. That's the dark green and the black wire for anyone who doesn't have their cable sleeve. I had the help of my girlfriend to record this video while I was filling the build. so. Big thank you to her for doing all the footage for me. Um, it's turned out nice and I, I really like what she's done with it. So as you can see here, we have the build running. We're just trying to get rid of some air bubbles now. This is the, just before you saw the Custom Dragon Reservoir. And here is the Aurora in effect. I really like that effect and hopefully we can get it going within the reservoir because that will make for a really nice showpiece. What it is is some particles within the liquid which reflect the light to give that effect. So when we can get that reservoir full we should be able to get that whole effect within the reservoir. We just need a bit more liquid in there to get it all pushing around through the light. So what happened here is we actually ran into a problem with the Aurora. For some reason it kept frothing up and we couldn't get rid of the froth. Now this is a day before, this is the night before we left for a 10 hour drive to Melbourne so we had to quickly decide what we were going to do and our best option was to just put the distilled water in and try and find some yellow dye from a PC company down in Melbourne when we got there. So right now we're just leak testing this overnight and we're just trying to get rid of them air bubbles. And this was certainly a great moment of my life until this moment happened. It was a big tease in the end. But eventually, after you know shaking the PC a bit, putting it side to side, we got most of the air bubbles out by the time of the event and in the next video you'll see what it actually turned out like but what we ended up doing is none of the computer stores had the yellow dye so we had to go just to our local supermarket buy some yellow food dye and had to settle with that i hope you guys enjoyed the leak test video if you did please like and subscribe and we'll see you next time thanks guys